So what do you think, Joe? I think it's bullshit. But that voice war, it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. Gangster my ass. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Day, huh? If you say so. I forgot what I was going to say. You should eat more sunflower seeds. Why? Vitamin E. Good for memory. What is it like being the prettiest girl in town? Don't know. Why don't you tell me? If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. Do you really think cats have nine lives? No, that's just some silly story for kids. Maybe, or maybe not. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black, like a devil. Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. So? I just... never mind. What are you doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job, and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. You can fuck off. Do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You're American? Cool. Nice flowers. Yeah. But I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. He's back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you have ice cream in Sweden? Do you have brains in America? Why are you sitting here? My mom's inside. Eating. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. I know the place where cats go to die. Yeah? It's just down the road. A cat cemetery? Not quite. It's just the backyard with some rubbish bins. But the cats really go there to die when they're old or sick. It's really weird. I can show you. But I should probably wait for my mom. About that cat place. Yeah? You'd be back in five minutes. Your mom will never know 
I don't know. She'd be really mad at me. There are some nice red flowers not far from there. But... I don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day, do you? Let's do something fun! Do you like them? Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No. Let them grow. They're beautiful as they are. You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way, maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. One cat, and it's not even dead. I bet it's a zombie cat. So you don't believe that cats have nine lives, but you believe in zombie cats. It's not the same. Zombie cats are real. The giant ones are the worst. Yeah? Do they eat brains? You bet. <laughs> don't be silly. All cats are great, but. You don't really like cats, do you? I was just fooling with you. Of course I like cats. Yeah? Yeah. Then let's go see if he likes us. Don't let it bite you. You'll turn. Aww, you're such a lovely pussy cat. Your turn. Huh? Come closer and stroke his head. Okay. I guess cats don't really like me. Don't worry about it. I'll tell my black cat to go easy on you. I mean, if we're... If we're still friends by then. It's Brady. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Hey, Brady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? Two scoops of chocolate, please. Chocolate coming up. What can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I don't want any. Why not? Because... No. Just... No. Don't you like ice cream? I do. But... It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. I... I really shouldn't. 
Thanks for the offer, but I can't. She'll have chocolate. Girls love chocolate. I said no, and no means no. You should probably go after her, dude. It's okay, are we good? We're good. Fist pump. I found it! Really? Yes! It's right where he said it was. But I kinda need your help. It's stuck under this thing. What are you talking about? He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday they leave it there and someone picks it up the next day. Wow, really? You don't believe him, do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. And it's just sitting there, waiting for us. This kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. But it's there. I can show you. There's a hole in the fence. Just follow me. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. Okay. Lead the way, bro. Yay! Just remember, it's a building site. I don't want you to touch anything. I won't. Where? This way. This? See the big X? You never said we were looking for pirate treasure. I don't care whose treasure it is. It's there. I want it. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy, and you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. We need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. Hey, I think I found what we need. No money. I bet there never was. I don't believe this. Why would they hide grenades here? I don't know. Maybe it's terrorists. We should call the police. Yeah, but first, let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Come on, Robbie!
no. What do you mean, no? I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but this thing's gotta be worth something, right? Don't even think about it. I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop, he's always looking for stuff like this. Leave it alone, you dipshit. I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away, I knew it was her. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. I never talked about Robbie. And neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out, and the cracks started to show. But I knew how to fix it. It's like they're saying, welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? So, 
You're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like... you. What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and... Really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. I give up. Let's book us in. There's gotta be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. Ivy? Where are you going? Devil came through here. What? What is that even supposed to mean we are not alone joe they are watching us who these bad people they live in the mirrors they reach out sometimes trying to grab they've gone now but soon they will return What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... No! Get away from him! I have gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. The big, fat, flesh-eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. We'll be fine, trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room, get some sleep, and I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Hello, may I help you? We have a, a little problem. My wife, she, she's not feeling too well. Is there a pharmacy still open? Oh my, not a headache, is it? Something like that. What a shame. But I'm afraid there's nothing I can do tonight, especially with the storm coming. There's a doctor staying in the hotel, though. He's practically a resident. We call him Dr. Z, a German chap. 
Talk to him in the morning. He might help. Right. Thanks. Would you like to get a room? I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, all right. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room... I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Sure. Whatever. We'll try not to disturb anyone. Good night.